Okay, so happy Thursday night. I'm really, really excited you guys are here, um, mostly because I'm super excited to learn myself. Echo herself brought in 20 new preferred customers last month. Literally bonkers. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy. She set the goal for herself and she just sunk her teeth in and didn't let go until she achieved it. And it was just the most inspiring thing to be able to witness and watch. And I was like, dang, I'm super challenged. Cause I think I brought in like one PC order last month. <laughs> um, PCs are not my strength, but that's also why I'm so excited to learn. And then Molly over here brought in eight new preferred customers, which is also massive. Again, I have maybe brought in just being really honest with you guys, like maybe five maybe five preferred customers like ever total um, since joining Q. And that's just because it's not my strong point. So we all, that's kind of the cool thing about partnering together. We all have incredible strengths. We all have incredible inclinations and we have so much to learn from each other. Um, and I know that these women are going to bring the heat. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and invite Echo to hop on first. Echo is a boss babe. She's awesome. She's also super busy with her other job. Um, she's getting ready to go to Disneyland, I believe. Um, and so she's working like overtime with her massage therapy and everything. She's really, really a great person to get to know. And honestly, as somebody whose face I have known since the beginning of my time here at Q and I've not stopped seeing it. She's like the epitome of consistency. So I'm going to have Echo hop on here and share first. Um, and then we'll have Molly share after that. And I also have a whole other edification for Molly because low key, I've been obsessed with her for like two years. So we'll get to that. But Echo, will you please take it away? Can everybody hear her? Because I cannot hear her. Okay. Nope, you're fine. You're fine. Take your time. Look, you even see, look at this hustler in the back here. You can see her massage table and everything. <laughs> you're okay. No problem. I can play some more Elvis. I have no complaints about playing more Elvis, okay? In the dead space. I'm like, is it something I can do? I don't know. Echo, is your are your earbuds connected or something? That's a good point. Sometimes that happens with my AirPods. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if her earbuds are connected to her computer. No. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Echo, while you figure it out, we'll have Molly share first. So <laughs> good. I get to edify Molly. Um, literally met her through a brief Higgins, who I think is on this call right now. Um, like who I also met through Instagram. And she basically, I was like, man, I want a septum piercing. And she was like, I only like it on two people. And then she sent me Molly's profile. <laughs> and then I was like, wow, I actually love this chick because Molly, as you can see, let's be honest, look at her guns right now. Okay. Can you just do a flex? Just be embarrassed by me. Okay. Can you handle that? Like literally I'm like, that is literal goals. Um, she's amazing, truly an athlete, which also takes a whole different level of mindset, discipline, physical discipline, so many different things. Um, she's a competitor. Um, and she's also just really a cool down to earth BA chick. Um, and she, because she's in the health and wellness space, she has this really cool and unique perspective to bring to potential customers and to potential ambassadors. And it's been really, really neat to see her kind of be able to partner with this company and see what she's done. So anyways, oh, and Brie says here, Molly is one of her favorite people. I also feel the same way. And I get to see her in Houston this weekend and I'm freaking stoked. Anyways, Molly, take it away, muchacha. Um, you said way too many nice things about me. So appreciate you, fam. Um, something about Casey, like literally probably four or five months after we met each other on Instagram, I posted on my story, this like really random shirt that I found on like an Instagram ad. And it was like, all it said was beefcake on it. And I posted it on my story twice. And I was like, can someone please buy me this shirt? Like, obviously I was kidding, but then I posted it again because no one responded. And I was like, no, but I'm being serious. Like somebody buy it for me. And then later on, Casey messaged me and she was like, hey, what's your address? And I literally thought she was going to send me samples for like Plexus. 
<laughs> literally like five days later, I got that shirt in the mail and I still wear it to this day. So thanks for my beefcake shirt. Um, but okay, y'all, I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. I am literally so tired right now. <laughs> like, can we all just agree that we are all very tired right now? Um, so with that being said, words are going to be hard. Um, and I may forget one and just kind of trail off. I don't know. Just give me grace and just kind of try to level with me. So products, how to share them, PCs, how to get them. Um, let's just get into it. I kind of wrote down just like bullet points, um, do's and don'ts of like for me personally that I follow and what seems to be working. So you can try this on your own and see if it works for you. So I'll go through the don'ts first when it comes to sharing products specifically on your Instagram stories. Um, don't share a product every single day or even every other day on your story. Why? Because it gets annoying and people catch on to that really fast and they will catch on to the fact that like, oh, um, Molly clearly sells Q Sciences products and she posts about it every single day and they will click through that story so fast. Um, so don't share every single day. Um, don't share stock photos or company photos. That is also massive no-no. Um, the last company that I was with, I y'all it's, oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. I will go back through my archive for my stories. And it's like, I just cringe so hard because it's story after story after story, just so many slides of just so many products, like so many of us have been there. Yes. Um, just so many stock company photos or like how many of y'all have literally like seeing someone else in your organization post a whole bunch of things that maybe they created and you just screenshot it, screenshot it, screenshot it, and then repost it to your story. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, so big no, no, don't overload on product info that no one's going to read that. Honestly, if they see a million and five bullet points of all the things that this product is going to do for their health and wellness, um, first of all, not that many people care about their health and wellness. Take it from me. I talk to them about it all the time. <laughs> um, they just don't care and they're not going to read all of that. So like one or two things that is going to help that'll catch their eye, but a million and five things of all the things that this pro specific product is going to help with, they're just not going to go through that. So those are my three, like big don'ts. Um, don't share a product every day or even every other day. I'll go into more detail about that. Um, don't share a company or stock photos and don't overload on product info. Okay. So let's transition into the do's. Um, what I personally do and what I've seen to help, um, or peak interest is that I rule of thumb, I'll try to post one to two times a week about a product. Okay. Um, so that's the first do one to two times a week. That's about it. That's all you need. Everything else should be like, um, just your life, whatever your niche is, whatever your niche, niche, whatever the freak, however you say it. Um, <laughs> get Erin to help you with that. If she hasn't already, she helped me with, uh, with mine and I like, am forever grateful. That's not the point of this. Whenever you do post those one to two times post authentically y'all authentically, meaning how this, pro how you are personally using the product, how slash when you're using it in your day. And, um, and like post yourself actually using it, not just like, Hey, this is my product and this is what it does and whatever. Um, so for, for instance, like I use the muscle relax cream often, like literally almost every day. And I use it after I lift. Okay. On whatever muscle group I just lifted. So in a very like simple example of that is like, I will take a video of myself, just like literally rubbing it on my shoulders or on my joints or something. And I'll like throw it up at the camera and then I'll put something like a very simple caption on it. That just says like, um, that just says something along the lines of post-workout muscle CBD cream, something like that. I don't know. And then I'll throw some music on it and that's it. 
Um, so something very simple that's like they actually see you using it in a in a practical way, right? People want to see practicality. They want to be able to relate to you um, and not just like a product that's in your hand. Um, okay, where am I at? Um, okay. So that's how like, I, th those are my rules of thumbs when it comes to sharing on my story. Um, so when it comes to like actually getting PCs, I, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I talk about the products all the time, all the time in person. Like if you're not talking to people about the products in person, I don't know what you're doing. Um, because I like people people love to talk about their problems, right? And we have answers to those problems a lot of the times. Like if they're stressed about something, hi, we have something for stress. If they are, you know, whatever. Um, if they are having trouble losing weight, if they have aches and pains, like we have answers to this. And so um, a very authentic way that I personally share whenever someone um, tells me about an ache or a pain or whatever, is so I'll just say, hey, um, can I shoot you a link to what I've been using? That's really, that has really helped me personally. And they'll be like, yeah, of course. Like, why would they not? And so I'll just shoot it to them and they either buy it or not. Um, but talk about it in person to people, like authentically, don't be weird about it. It does not have to be weird. Um, but also like, I am always, whenever you're doing your reach outs, I don't know if you have a percentage of what business asks you do and what product asks you do, 100% of my reach outs are business asks. And when they say no to the business, I turn it into a product ask. I don't just leave it at, oh, okay, see you next time then. <laughs> or, okay, no problem. I know it's a busy time. Turn it into a product ask every single time. Like the, if they are not interested in the business, that doesn't mean that they're not interested in the products. Um, and a lot of times if they've watched videos and they decide for themselves that the business side is not for them, um, that is a very easy in for y'all to just be like, Hey, no problem. Can I just at least send you my, uh, my link and you could, excuse me, you can check out the products for yourself and see if you, um, see if anything catches your eye. If you have it, if you need recommendations or if you have any specific health concerns, I'm happy to help you with it. Um, boom, there's your in. Um, so capitalize on conversations that you are already having about business or in stuff like that. So turn your business asks into product asks. Secondly, on that point, um, whenever you send your link to somebody, y'all probably 99.999% of the time, they're going to exit out of that message and they're never going to touch that link. They are never going to do it. They're not going to remember. Uh, I mean, they might, but that's like very, very rare. Um, so you have to be the one to follow up. You have to, you have to follow up. Like they are not going to go and be like, oh, hey, that one thing that Molly sent me that one time, like, no, uh, -uh it's gone. Um, so follow up. My rule of thumb is wait three days. If they don't, if they don't place an order, if they don't, um, follow up with you, if they don't respond, then write it on your calendar or whatever, go back through your messages if you want to, um, and just follow up. It's follow-ups are literally the easiest per, like activity as a business owner that you can do. They, they are the easiest things ever. Um, so follow up and if they still don't respond, then wait another three to five days and follow up again. <laughs> and you, and like, you don't have to be worried about it. The second follow up, I typically will just send like a voice message so that they can hear like, Hey, I'm not trying to be pushy with this. I just want to like make sure you're not interested so that I can not forget about you or something like that and make them feel like you're just trying to take care of them. Um, so those are kind of my tips. <laughs> and Casey kind of wanted me to talk about like how I educate myself on the products and y'all that's really simple. I read the product sheets. Crazy. I know. <laughs> but that is all I do. And they are all in the milkshake. Like I keep product sheets on hand, like at all times. And, um, it's good. And I will also watch the videos that are in Q connect every once in a while. Like if I'm on the cardio machine or whatever. Um, but it, it goes, 
it goes really far. Thank you for dropping that, Erin. Um, it goes far to be knowledgeable about the product that you're selling. Like I know that we're not all product junkies. I know that we're not all ingredient junkies, but at the end of the day, we're selling these products and we should be knowledgeable about them. And we should be knowledgeable about what they're doing in our bodies enough to be able to talk to people about it, right? Um, and we have more than enough information here, like Casey and every, all the leaders that we have in this organization, they have done the work <laughs> for us and they've provided that information for us. So we really don't have any excuse to not be knowledgeable on these products. So, um, that's all I have for y'all. Dude, that was so good. Did anybody else take notes like a lot? <laughs> That was so good. I was dying. She's all, I read the product info sheets. I was like, that is hilarious. Okay, mic drop. We're done with the training right there. When I think about it though, my last company too. So I know, and I'm so guilty of this, like as a leader of doing trainings or being on my op calls and being like, oh, I didn't come here for the products because I didn't. I'm being honest with you guys. I didn't come here for the products. I came here for the finances. I came here for the opportunity. Um, but I think that's also done a disservice to some of you guys and our team as a whole, because what Molly said right there is so true. Um, and it's all, we're just a new, we're a new team. We're still learning. We're all growing together. Right. But it's so true. We are selling a product too. At the end of the day, we are offering a business to people, but when they say no to a business, cause not everybody's called to work a cue, sorry, but it's true. Um, we have incredible products, but if we don't know anything about them, how are we going to share about them? And at my last company, I had great product sales. That was basically all I did because people didn't want to join my business. And I did the same thing. It was reading the product info sheet. Something I do is I'll look at the ingredients and then I will literally go to Google. If I'm talking to a potential and they're like, oh, I struggle with like pain or inflammation or whatever it is, I literally go and I'll take like the ingredients and I'll be like this ingredient and inflammation, <laughs> you know, and I'll just see if it's even correlating. And obviously that's something that I just did over a long period of time over several conversations, but I also had a lot of those conversations. So I learned it all pretty quick. Um, so the more conversations you have with people about, tell me about your health goals, tell me about your health struggles. And you start kind of diving in and doing your own research that way, even as simple as a little Google search, you know, that's going to like super behoove you because you can talk about it in person when someone's saying, Hey, I'm struggling with anxiety right now, or the depression is just unreal, you know, whatever. And you can be like, okay, I know we have products for that just generally. Um, and you can take time to look at other products too and see if we have similar ingredients in other products like the propriety blends or whatever, and start learning that maybe you can offer them a lot more than you thought originally too. You know, maybe it's not just hemp oil we have that helps with anxiety, you know? Um, so I thought that was really, really good. So Echo, did you get it all working? Your microphone's working? Okay, awesome. We're going to have Echo hop I don't on. know. Is it working? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh my yes. <laughs> oh yes. My God. Again. That's so funny. I had to go get my 16, 16 year old because I was like, what did you do to my computer? You know? So I'm so sorry, you guys. Whoa, you know? And my heart cool. was like pounding already. And then it was pounding even worse. So <laughs> no, you're fine. Take it away. You're natural. But I Oh, here's what I want to say is I'm kind of glad I actually got to go second because there's things that Molly talked about that helps me transition into the, the way I do things because she's obviously dealing with her clients and I just want those arms, first of all, like super jacked, come on, like I'm looking at her going, geez, I need to work more. So, um, but my customer base, you guys, like when I went into last month, I just want you to know that when Jake rolled out that promotion, my entire intention for the month was to go and get 20 customers. It was insane. I thought it was nuts, but the month before I had enrolled 10, okay, with my husband. And I was like, if I can do 10, maybe I should just go for 20. Like, it was just ridiculous. It sounded crazy. And so here's what I do. I want you guys to know, like, I'm a reach out person. I do post on social, but I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation person. So I, I make sticky notes with names with, and I write who they are, what product I want to talk to them about. And I'm not kidding. I had 30 sticky notes on the wall in my office all month long. And I have another, this is a new list for this month. It's like 11 people deep right now. It doesn't mean I'm going to get 11 customers, but I'm going to try my best to get as many as I can. But I, it's based on previous conversations, pe previous responses to posts that I've made. 
and just knowing the relationship of the person I want to talk to about the product, because this is more product centric, because it's not, in the, it's totally different than what she was saying. I already know these people are not business prospects. I've already identified that they are a customer prospect for me. And then she's right, like, don't make it weird. The way I talk about product, the thing that works for me is I, I, I it's not like a magic reach out. It's not some magic thing. All I did was I focused on collagen and the people that I reach out to, I asked them if they were open to giving the collagen a 30 day run to get results like I did in my before and afters. And I'm going to send you those. I utilize my pictures. I utilize the video on the collagen. And every time someone watched it or saw my picture, they were like, what the heck? I want to try it. And that's how I was able to do it. <clears throat> and that's why I had to get 20 because it's not like it's 100 points for every single collagen bottle you sell. But if you can just, you have to make it about them. Like, how is this? Pro we don't have to be, we do need to educate them a little bit, but we don't have to tell them every single thing about it. They can look at the ingredients themselves. People only care, just like when we teach them about the business, does this make sense? Can I do this? Will someone help me? Well, when it comes to products is, is this going to work for me? How does it make me feel? Did it work for you? That's all they care about. Most people are not interested in all the details. They just want to know, is it going to work? Because they're going to give you money to pay for something and they want results. So if you lead with the results it provides and what it's done for other people, it could be your own testimony. It could be other clients testimony that really leads to an easier close of a sale. And you do have to follow up with people. When I went into the month, I had one PC for like 10 days, one. And I was able to, I don't even know how that happened still. I think it was God, honestly. Um, but that's kind of like the secret sauce, I think is just showing the interest in the people, in the person, identifying a product that you are so passionately excited to get into their hands. Like it, you, you're they're not doing you a favor at all but you just really want their feedback i had a lot of people i reached out to about that too and people i knew i could get the product in their hands and they would tell other people about it and i kind of gave them that hey you are like the perfect person to test this for me for 30 days because i know if you love it you have so many people you'll want to tell about it too and that's why i really want you to give this a try you know what do you, what do you say so i always leave it to them but that's kind of like the biggest thing that's like the biggest thing of how I do it. When it comes to my massage clients, I will say that that's a different opportunity for me. Okay, so in my situation, these people have an established relationship built on trust. You, If you can identify the people in your network, okay, whether it's friends, people you used to work with, people you used to, you know, whatever it is, I go back deep sometimes, like more than 10 years and reach out to people and just start a conversation. Don't say, hey, don't hit them up about your business and your product, but start building conversations and creating that warmth between the two of you again and help it will naturally lead into, hey, what are you up to? Hey, what are you doing? You just have to start these conversations. And then, um, but everything that Molly talked about, about not to do, I 100% agree. If you are only ever talking about product, they're going to think that all you care about is selling them. People do not want to feel sold at all. They want to feel that they are being served when you talk to them about our products. We have something that no one else has. I did have people reach out to me about collagen and saying, what makes it different from this one? What makes it different from this one? And I would never speak bad about another company's product. I have a girlfriend who was using Isogenics collagen for several months and hadn't used it for six weeks. I had no idea she had stopped using it. She was already a customer of mine buying the Q-Core and she loves it. So she's like, so tell me about why it's different. Is it better? Like, what's the deal? And so I told her, I said, this is what I know about theirs. And here's what I know about ours. And she just decided she wanted to try it. So we'll be, we'll be interesting to see if she has equal or better results. Like I'm kind of, the jury's still out on that. But, but I just think that at the end of the day, what my customers always tell me is they love to buy from me because they feel my passion and my energy and they know that I genuinely care about what I'm helping them to do. So just it's not weird if you make it about helping the person you're trying to serve. And that's it. That's it. Like that is the secret for me. And I think every single one of you 
can do the same thing. You can, if you don't make it about your goal, your numbers. I had a few people who I did reach out to, to say, Hey, you know, and I didn't say, Hey girl, I'm really close to a goal. You know, can you hook, can I hook you up with the product? It wasn't like that, but there is a way that you can help them feel like they're a part of something really cool. If you tell them the reason why you're doing something, you know, people knew I was trying to get my family to Disneyland on a vacation. And I was working on this insane goal and our company is so ridiculously generous and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And people, they wanted to participate in that because they already have that relationship with you. So don't be afraid to sometimes tell them that don't be afraid to give them a chance to be a part of something that's kind of fun and cool because they're going to want to know, Hey, how did it go? Did you make your goal? Did you make your goal? You know, it doesn't hurt, but don't lead with that. You have to isolate each individual person and how you're going to do it. And when it comes to like meeting up, I, I do a lot of voice text. I pick up the phone and call people and I meet people for coffee. I meet people for lunch. I had a girl, I had no idea, a friend of mine, we hadn't seen each other in a couple months. She's having sleep problems. I didn't know sleep was a need of hers. If we didn't meet and we didn't have that conversation and she didn't identify that that was something that she would be more focused on, I wouldn't have known what to share with her about my business. So, and she's having great results with the rest. So I just think like identify their pain there and find a solution for them and just serve your, your, these are your friends. These are your coworkers. These are people that are, that know you just treat them like a person, you know, and you'll have great success. Like, that's all I can tell you. Like, there's no magic reach out. Just be yourself, be authentic, be passionate and explain and tell people why you love these products and why you believe they can help them. That's all I got for real. Dude. I love that. That was so good. Takes it back to the basics. You guys, we have relationships with people. I guarantee you invited people to your fab five that didn't sign up for the business. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you had people that you reached out to and invited to a call within the last month or two that didn't make it or didn't show or said no, but you also can invite them into this world of incredible, incredible, incredible products. And I love how Echo's talking about too, you know, it's voice clips, it's phone calls, it's meeting up with them in person right now. As a matter of fact, in Cabo, Jake talked about, he took some time. We honestly vacationed. It was crazy, but we had a very small meeting and he pretty much said, even the people who are going to be chosen for equity and advisory council, the biggest factor into who's going to be chosen for that is the people who are getting in person with their people, hosting events, having coffee, like doing things like that. And that just goes to show the reason they're prioritizing that is because as a society, I think we're all like super burnt out (laughs) of being cooped up or, you know, working from home all the time. We're not outside as much. We're not with our friends as much. We're not going to the movies as much as we used to. We got used to living inside our homes and now people are starving. Like I was going to say hungry, but they're like starving to just be with people in person. And it's so true. There's such a depth to relationship that can be met when you're in person and just hanging out with people and you're just kind of talking. That's when you really get to know people and you get to hear their struggles. You get to hear their health goals. You get to hear what they're working on in their lives. And that's where you can be like, wow, I didn't know I had a potential solution, but Hey, like, let me tell you about this. Um, I love how echo talked about, you know, She's talking about her life with people. I'm getting ready to go to Disneyland. My company is so generous. They're offering this. So I've made that my goal. How freaking normal is that? Like how normal is that? Right. And we overcomplicate it. We think we have to go to lunch to make sure that at some point in the conversation, we talk about you or, you know what I mean? But it's like, literally she was so excited on that PC bonus that was available to her last month. It was something she was already thinking about every day. Just like, we're, this is our job. This is our career, you guys. This is our side hustle. It's something we already think about every day. It's something we already do and work on every single day. You know, I mean, we take days off, but you get what I'm saying. And it's weird that we make it weird to share it with people. You don't have to do that. So I love, love, loved these. I hope that this added a lot of value to you guys. I hope it gave you some clear next steps um, on where to go from here. I don't ever want you guys to discredit the customer commissions that's available to us because our customer commission percentages we get paid are truly, truly so great. And I love all these promos they're dropping for our PCs, like the Tiger Punch that just got dropped. I mean, they're constantly doing new things. You know, I know they're releasing new stuff this month. So now's the time to start talking to that warm market again and reminding them. Um, Echo, did you have something else? 
I did. I wanted to give you guys one tangible thing that really helped me last month that I, you guys take advantage of this. In my last company, people had to become a preferred VIP customer and they had to commit to auto ships. We have flexibility here and that's a big deal. I, I don't think all these people would have done it if they knew they had to commit to an auto ship. So I, I did lead with that a lot that they were not committed to anything except the 30 day trial. Um, not that, but they all know I was like, you're going to want it on auto ship. Trust me, because it's like magic in a bottle. But the other thing I did is when I would send them the link, I would tell them, I'm also going to text you instructions on exactly how to enroll with the best way. So you can maximize this opportunity to become my customer. So I, I just made it really easy for them. You've got to do the work for your customers. And if you need to get on the phone with them, but make sure they know set the expectation and show them how to do it so they'll do it otherwise and then follow up otherwise they they will they will totally forget that's the only thing i forgot to tell you guys no that's perfect i think that's great make it literally make it the easiest thing on earth that they could possibly do is sign up by giving them the step-by-step -step instructions and i totally agree i don't hold any of my pcs any of my five you know um pcs to an auto ship by any means it's always been an approach of hey i would love to get your input or i'd love as you can one of my things that i've always kind of said is as you can imagine my job runs predominantly on referrals and reviews i would love for you to purchase a product and try it for 30 days and give me your like genuine honest review that i could share on my social media or you could share it on your social media, which is also a way to tap root. Um, and honestly, we have an 84.7% customer retention rate over a four month period for a reason. That's like a really, really great percentage. And it's for a reason people, we have less than 1% return rate on our products because we have that 30 day money back guarantee. The reason we have a less than 1% return rate is because people try our products, they experience in them and they love them. Like I'm always genuine. I didn't come here for the products, but I fell in love and I use them every single day and I feel a difference when I don't. And so don't forget that, you know, our products really are changing lives, you guys. So like walk confidently in that, walk confidently in that. Um, Marissa asked, can we say 85% or should we say it's 84.7? <laughs> I say 84.7, but you could say like, you could say somewhere around 85%. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> it's a lot less wordy. So that's probably a good idea. Awesome. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hopping on. I'm super encouraged and excited to see that about 30 people were on this call tonight um, because I really want us to capitalize on this. I want us to learn and grow in this area. It's going to make us more dynamic and more successful individuals. It's going to help us be able to coach our teams and our PAs even better than we were able to before just because we're learning more. We always need to be learning and growing. And if we're the smartest one in the room, we in the wrong room. What up? Okay. I'm so happy about this month. It's going to be so good. If you are in the Houston area, um, don't forget to come say hello to me this weekend. If you are not in the Houston area, don't forget there are now virtual tickets available and you can see me make a fool of myself on stage if you want to. I don't know who is allowing me to do that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure I'll trip or something weird will happen. It'll be a great time. Um, so I love you all and I hope you have a great weekend and we will talk to you soon. Toodaloo.